I guess I would say that the creator wants us to, to be to stay here. You know. Yep. I'd say so. That's basically my thought here. We're 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 not lucky. We just got chosen to stay. Yep. Hold on tight. We must be brave. This is our time. This is our. Everything right, and yep. But here's my friend Dave. He's a good guy. Yeah. He's got nowhere to live, so I'm gonna let him live in my yeah. boat for a while. Exhausted, you and I emotionally, yep. physically, the yep. thing we went through, there's no yep. word to describe. Yep. It's incredible. It is. Hour and 48 minutes to go. We are loaded up with cases of water, we have 10 gallons of fuel, food. Unfortunately, only 10 gallons of fuel. I really yeah. would like to take more, but we couldn't find any more fuel jugs. Um, to take we were able to borrow a three gallon one from jeffrey thankfully thanks jeff yeah we uh met some ladies at wendy's thank you so no, much thank you so much thank you thank you stay safe like searched all over for ice and they weren't even open yet but they were kind enough to let us have some ice from the restaurant so, she bags ice which is yeah perfect. so nice of them so we are now headed south. We're, We're actually headed east because yeah. we have to go out and around. I-75 is closed down due yeah. to flooding. Last night, uh, I-75 I was closed down. Northport area because of the Ma Mayaka River flooding. So we are going east to go south. So we are now on State Road 70. And um, yeah, about a two hour and 15 minute trip to get to Fort Myers, which would usually be what, an hour and a half? You yeah. made that trip all the time on 75 when you were working down there. So yep. eager to get down there and to deliver these supplies to Joe, the man who rode out the storm on his catamaran, which is so impressive. Eager to talk to him and introduce him to you guys here on the channel and help him out and hopefully help any other boaters in this area out that we can while we're here. So just a, a small effort, uh, we, but we feel like it's the least we can do for being spared from this storm and, and everything being safe, both our townhome and our boat. The shoulder of this road just collapsed with that truck, with that truck on it. Now going on to Northwest Pine Level Street. We talked to this guy in the truck in front of us. He is a detailing shop and he's got a truckload of supplies that he's bringing down to Fort Myers. Trailer load. The rest of the traffic making this turn behind us. So we feel pretty good about being behind him because someone else who hopefully knows the way to get down there guy who was behind us laughed at us when Cole said we were going to Fort Myers. Hopefully we can get down there today. So these are all grapefruit trees and it's amazing all of the entire crop is on the ground mm -hmm. and of course these grapefruits were just uh, a few months from being ready to, to harvest. So that farmer has lost his entire crop. All right so we're having a detour again because we're being told this road we're trying to go on is closed. <sighs> really hope we can make it. Yeah. Stay, stay as far left as you can. Yeah, the truck driver's still in the truck. Oh my goodness, there's truck drivers in the truck. Did they just trucks. go through there like that? Oh my goodness. Yeah, they're driving right now. Man, that thing's about to flip. That looks like a sinkhole right there. 
Wow. You just went over this road an hour ago? No, this was like last night, they said. I don't remember any of the roads I went down. We don't went down so many. It is now just after five o'clock and we are finally on the interstate. I-75 is now back open, of course, after everybody and their mama and their dog has detoured today. But that's good that it's now back open and we hope to be able to deliver these supplies uh, before nightfall. So this is actually where the eye of the storm came through. Um, so everything that we've seen so far has been on the weak side of the storm. Obviously the, the left-hand side is the weak side of the storm. So now we're entering, going over this bridge and technically this is, uh, this is ground zero as they call it. So, start of it. The start of it, yeah. Glad to be able to help out a fellow boater today. Nice to meet you. I wish it was under better circumstances. This is about as good a circumstance as I can imagine. You guys are here to help. Thank you. Absolutely. Figured it's the least we can do. We thought the storm was how coming can we get down there? directly to us. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to get down What's here. What's up, dude? <laughs> Captain <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. Good. Good. Uh, Doing all right now? Yeah, no, I'm doing good. Yeah, it's, it's everybody else. I feel bad. Well, I got mayo on board, which I couldn't. <laughs> all right, well, the, the Publix didn't have mayo. I've actually become picky with my mayo. I don't like uh, Dukes, Dukes, probably? Yes. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyone that says they're picky with mayo only yeah. really likes Dukes. Yeah, but dude, I'll never go back to home and tell me. <laughs> All right. Oh, no.
walk me through you, you Wednesday. You can see what this was like. I mean, the fact that you can have something so strong just destroy steel structures and wooden docks and houses and do all this damage, like, it was absolutely crazy. Like, it's just, I mean, I was blown. It felt like, I mean, when I measured it at 80 knots, like, that felt strong, but it felt manageable. But then my wind gauge blew off and it felt twice as strong after that, that it was just sort of like, it had to have been well over 100, but it's just the devastation. I saw boats float by, you know, I saw just things happen that came off mooring balls, just all the boats around here, all the houses just underwater. So absolutely crazy. Um, and devastation. So you, were, you were already here in Fort Myers, but you were expecting the boat or the, the storm to come to us. Yeah, I mean, it was supposed to hit Tampa or north of Tampa. Right. So I thought, you know, I'd get 30, 40 knots, no big deal. And then the day before they switched it to where it was coming, and not even to Fort Myers, it was coming to like Sarasota. And they never once said Fort Myers Beach. And then- Not so until like 12 hours before. And then, yeah, and then the storm kept turning and it sort to me it slowed down. It did, yeah, yeah and for it, sure it did. And that's what it happened, like around 11 or 12 o'clock, like I was working that morning and like, I just, everything was fine. And then all of a sudden it was sort of like, all right guys, I'm gonna sign off because it started to get a little hairy. But I was like, you know, normal day, it wasn't anything crazy, but then it got crazy. And for eight hours, it was crazy. Like, just literally every minute was sort of just terror. Like, just things blowing off, things blowing by, like, just crazy. The jet ski video. Yeah, the jet skis floating Two by. Two jet skis on a floating dock just yeah. float right on by. Like, yep. that's so crazy. Yep. You saw boats break loose. Yeah, boats broke loose right in front of me. Like, this, there were all these, where we are right now, there were like three or four balls right lined up here. They had boats on them. And every ball that you see, like we'll pass them that uh, doesn't have a boat, they had a boat, including one, two, three, four of the neighbors around me are gone. One of them's underwater right here. One of them's up in the mangroves. And then uh, one of them, today the lady came by, I just, the look on her face was the saddest thing I've ever seen. She was in devastation because she just can't find her boat, right? Like your whole life is on that boat. A lot of these people live on their boats. So their whole life is on that boat. Everything I own is on my boat. So yeah, same with us. Yeah, everything and, that we own is on our boat. Yep. So, the entire time, we're like, we didn't know what to do because one model said it was going to the Panhandle. The next model said it's coming directly to us. Yep. Like, yeah. So I mean, I, I mean, I tried to prepare as much as I could, and I did a really good job. Took the jib down, but I didn't think I needed to take the main, main sail down. But I regret it now. I mean, but to be honest with you, there was no space inside of my boat. It was already full of stuff. I had everything on the outside, inside the boat. So where, where is the mainsail now? Uh, it's all over Fort Myers Beach, a thousand pieces. Really? Yeah, yeah. Literally had like maybe two small pieces to save that to cut off, but then, um, but yeah, it's everywhere. Just and got that's shredded. But your boom didn't. Your boom's okay. Sail, which to be honest with you was original could use could use an upgrade anyway um, all my electronics are good except for the wind gauge i have to check the radar but you can move the boat right it's operable uh i'll show you the throttle cables that broke i need to fix that or jerry rigging something to do